Students, this is the take home practice quiz help video for the 5.1 to 5.4. There's going to be two different styles of problems for this problem number one. But both of them, what you need to understand is both of them are going to use multiple Pythagorean theorems, leg squared plus leg squared equals hypo squared. I will definitely do the problem below, but the other style of problem you're going to see looks like this, multiple overlapping right triangles. So the trick to this problem on the right, real quick, is to separate these two right triangles. One of them, a smaller one, and then the larger one, you must trace over it. And then you're going to be doing Pythagorean theorem twice to find some sort of missing side. So when you have overlapping right triangles, pull them apart. So for this particular diagram, which is also another style, you have, it says right here, a triangular pyramid is formed by three right triangles shown below. Use the information given in the figure to find RT. So RT is our ultimate unknown here. If applicable, round your answer to the nearest whole number. So we have three different triangles here. We have a blue triangle. We have a yellow triangle. And we have a green triangle. Now, if you look carefully, the blue triangle only has one side to work with. The yellow triangle only has one side to work with. But the green triangle has the 65, 97, and oh, looky there, we can easily solve for that. Let's pull it out. And your right angle is flat right there. So your right angle is here. This is 65. This is 97. This is going to be our x. Leg squared, leg squared, hypo squared. Watch out, your hypo here is the 97. So we have leg squared, unknown, x squared, plus leg, 65 squared, equals hypo, 97 squared. I'm going to start showing you how to do shortcuts on your TI-84 calculator. Watch carefully. I'm only going to touch a calculator after this X is completely isolated. So I'm going to minus 65 squared minus 65 squared. Watch carefully. So I have X squared equals 97 squared minus 65 squared. And then I have to square root. So watch. To solve for that x in the calculator, I can put this entire expression, 97 squared minus 65 squared, underneath the square root sign, all on my TI-84. Let me show you the trick there. Taking a look here on this calculator, and I'll also show you on this one as well. So we do giant square root, 97 squared minus 65 squared. Your square root is right there above the square sign. So second function, square root, 97 squared button minus 65 squared button, enter. Ta-da! You're done. Isn't that lovely? So our answer here for x is 72. But wait, there's more. Because looking at that yellow triangle, what we ultimately want is that red question mark. So here we have 72, here we have 120, and here is our x.
So once again, x squared plus 72 squared equals 120 squared. Subtract 72 squared from both sides, square root. Therefore, your x is going to ultimately equal the square root of 120 squared minus 72 squared. I now have x isolated. So it's 120 squared minus 72 squared square root. So your giant square root button's right there, second function square root. And we do 120 squared minus 72 squared, enter, 96. So our x is 96. Taking a look at the next two problems, they're 45, 45, 90, 30, 60, 90, your answer in simplified radical form. On the left, 45, 45, 90, leg, 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 root 2. So the legs are equal. So if this is 8, down here must be 8, and the leg to the hypo is 8 root 2. So the correct answer for D would be 8 root 2. Then row over here, 30, 60, 90, short leg, short leg root 3, short leg times 2. This one reads something times root 3 is 5, and you're like, that's not an even number. That's my point. It's not an even number. So work backwards. We know that we have to have a root 3, because root 3 times root 3 just gives you 3, and that gets rid of the radical. We know somewhere there has to be a 5, because there's a 5 over here, so we're going to add a 5. 5 times 3 is 15. We're like, oh, not quite at 5 yet. But if we divide that by 3, bam, we get 5. So the correct answer here is going to be 5 root 3 over 3. Another one. 45, 45, 90, leg leg, leg root 2. This one reads something, something times root 2 is 2. What's our something? Our something here is simply root 2. Because root 2 times root 2 is 2. Ta da You're done. There you go. Here, 30, 60, 90, short leg, short leg root 3, short leg times 2. So to get A, it reads simply 5 times root 3, which is 5 root 3. Now we start giving solving for the triangle. When it says solve for a triangle, solve, it means find everything that's unknown. So you're going to be finding three things here. One, you're going to be finding a missing angle. Two, you're going to be finding two different side lengths. Okay, so taking a look here, to find this missing angle, you don't need Sokotoa here, folks, because if this is a right angle, these two have to add up to 90. So you simply do 90 minus 39. And we get 51 degrees. Now we go ahead and we can use either the 39 or the 51. It doesn't matter. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use the 51. From the 51, I'm going to label opposite adjacent 
hypo. So I'm going to solve for A first, side A. And side A, I have, need, do. I have the opposite. Excuse me. Nope, not, you don't have the opposite. You're looking for the opposite. You have the adjacent. You need the opposite. So what do you do? You're going to do tangent because that's OA. Tangent of theta over 1 equals opposite over adjacent. And that's going to be tan 51, keep parentheses around that, equals our opposite, which is our letter A, over adjacent, which is 25. Cross multiply. Your A is going to equal tan 51, parentheses, times 25. So over here on your calculator, we do tangent of 51, enter, times 25, enter, and you have to make sure you round exactly where Alex tells you to round. And Alex asks you to round to the nearest 10, so in this case, it's going to be 30. Point nine. So A is going to equal 30.9. C, let's do have need do for C, which is our hypo. Have, need, do. Using C, we have the adjacent. We need the hypo. Technically, we have the opposite, but I just like to stick with what we originally had. So I have an AH combo. I know that's cosine of theta Keep my color straight here. Cross multiply. With C in the denominator, I know it's going to look like this. It's going to be C is going to equal 25 divided by cosine 51. So I come down here and I do 25 divided by cosine 51. Those of you on this small screen calculator, looks like this. 25 divided by 51 cosine, and you're going to get the same answer. Now we're getting 39.7 for C. Take here, it says find X, round your answer to the tenth of a degree. Make sure you actually read the instructions here, folks. Tenth of a degree would look like this. Something point something degrees. Take it to the first tenth place. This one's super easy. So you label opposite, adjacent, and hypo. This is opposite, adjacent, hypo. We have two things. We have the opposite and the hypo. We're trying to find the angle. So this one's inverse sine, looks like this, OH, sine, negative 1, parentheses, opposite over hypo equals R theta, which is our angle, which in this case is labeled X. Inverse sine, parentheses, our opposite is 13, our hypo is 19, equals theta. So inverse sine, 13 over 19, looks like this. Second function, sine, 13 divided by 19, close the parentheses up, enter. This calculator, it's going to go 13 divided by 19 first, enter. Second function, sine. Same thing, nearest tenth 
would be 43.2 degrees. Taking a look here at our next one. It says a 14 foot ladder leans against the side of the house. Bottom of the ladder is five feet away. Find X, which is the angle of elevation of the ladder. So there's our theta. Five would be the adjacent. 14 would be the hypo. I have an AH combo. Ah, ka. So we write cosine, inverse cosine, adjacent over hypo equals theta. Looks like this, inverse cosine, adjacent is five, hypo is 14, is our angle theta. Coming over here, So that's going to be 5 over 14, inverse cosine. Second function, cosine. 5 divided by 14, enter. Over here, you do 5 divided by 14 equals second function, cosine. You're going to get the same thing. It says rounded the tenth, 69.1. Last one requires multiple use. Do not be intimidated. This is very easy on your calculators. It says a surveyor wants to know the length of a tunnel built through a mountain. So our ultimate goal is this tunnel length, which is this squiggle distance. That's our ultimate goal. Ta-da! That's what we're trying to find. According to his equipment, where he's standing, is 243 meters at one entrance at an angle being that there is a perpendicular line of sight of 47 degrees to the perpendicular also 186 meters to the other entrance with a 27 degree angle to the perpendicular find the length of the entire tunnel which is again the yellow squiggle do not round any immediate answers Round your final answer to the nearest tenth. Okay, so there's two right triangles here. Let's label both of them. We need this red piece. That is the opposite of 47. And we have the hypo. And then the, we also need this other red piece. I'm going to dash it which from 27 is the opposite, and 186 is the hypo. And I want them together, so we're gonna be adding. So we're gonna be adding to get the yellow. All of this is gonna go in your calculator. OH is sine. Ready, watch carefully. The sine, 47, equals our opposite, which we don't know. Calling this x, and our hypo is 243. And then this other piece, we'll call it y, that's also sine, because it's opposite and hypo. So it goes like this, sine 27 over one equals our y piece over 186, cross multiply. So both our x and our y, which we are trying to add together, equals x is going to equal the sine of 47 times 243, plus our y is the sine of 27 times 186. And x plus y is going to equal, ta-da, giant yellow squiggle. So that's x, that's y, and we're adding them together. 
So this, my friends, is what's going to go in your calculator in one fell swoop. It's going to be so amazing. Watch very carefully. Sine 47 times 243. Sine 47 parentheses times 243. You got that, right? Plus sine 27, close up that parentheses, times 186. Got it? All together. Drum roll. Ta-da! 262 feet. 0.16. Let's see where it wants you to round. 0.16, 10th Street, that'd be 262.2. .2. So our yellow is 262.2. .2. Now, just for giggles, let me show you how to do this on the other calculator, just so you can see it, okay? First off, it was sine 47, so you have to go backwards. 47 sine times 243, enter, plus 27 sine times 186, enter. Ta-da! Same thing, folks. 262.2.